Hello sports fans. Welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. For two and a half years, my martial arts cat Ninja and I have been full time in my Class C RV and 99% of the time boondocking like we just completed uh, last night. We stayed at the Walmart in Deming, New Mexico and today we're going to be doing a two hour drive uh, to Wilcox, Arizona. So there's a lake there, not too many people know about it. I've stayed there before and it's gonna be free. So let's hit the road. Well, one hour down, I went to the Loves in Lordsburg. Terrible idea. Oh, these are construction signs. They've been having signage of these orange signs back a ways almost since I left saying high winds, chance of zero visibility, dust storms possible, slow down, and there have been high winds uh, this whole hour. Okay, here they are, they were yellow signs. Caution dust storms. Yep, zero visibility possible. Do not stop in travel lanes, 65 miles per hour. Use extreme caution. Oh my God. Well, I am doing about 63 miles per hour. Woo! I think it's time to get both hands on the wheel, finish up this last hour and get into Arizona where the winds should be nice and mild. Terrible roads here. Welcome to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Ooh. Nice to see some mountains and hills. Got about 45 minutes to go. It's actually not a lake we're going to. I, I would call it more of a pond. <laughs> Meet the Wilcox, Arizona. Found about the cheapest gas around, 354. Yikes. Yikes. But Gas Buddy's going to save me 12 cents off a gallon. And we're only a few minutes away from the pond. So we made it. You got to check out these mountains in the distance. That's snow. Not a lot. Just a tiny bit. So nobody calls this a lake. Nobody calls this even a pond. The lady at the nearby gas station was like, lake, pond? She goes, oh, you mean the dry creek bed? I said, well, there's water in there. She goes, yeah, but you don't want to swim in it. Lots of ducks. It does say something about reclaimed water. Do not swim. But let me show you camp where we're going to be, as Ninja's already investigating the area. There's the entryway right over there. And then there's a road that makes a big circle around this place. But if I parked anywhere along it, and somebody wants to drive through, it's going to be uh, tough. Class B van over there. Van way off in the distance. It is very windy and chilly, so I'm gonna get inside. Should be here two or three nights. And apparently, as the sun is setting, Ninja is trying to figure out how she might be able to get those ducks. Number one, if she goes any further towards the water, there's no more cover for her. And two, the ducks are in the water. Now she's looking back here, thinking, hmm. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm betting on the ducks. It's not often I bet against Ninja. Well, nothing but cool weather and rain.
See, now this is what I expect ducks to do. If you can see them, it's about as close as I can get. They're walking out of the water. M most of them have their heads down in the water. They're trying to get little bugs or fish or whatever ducks eat. I'm imagining bugs of some sort. But they get their head out of the water when they swim from one place to the other or paddle with their little feet. And then when they get to a spot they like, they have their head in the water 90% of the time. That's why those ducks at the last place, well, not actually the last place, but that's why the ducks at the other place several days ago confused me because they were up on shore pecking like a like a chicken. See, and these are the ducks I'm used to that they're in the water, they have their head down 90% of the time, if you could see them. And uh, that's how they spend the majority of their day. And uh, it's funny, I've seen a few of the little baby ones, the little tiny ones, they completely go underwater. <laughs> they will totally, their whole body and everything, I guess that's the only way they can get down. But you can see the adult ones just bob their head down and keep their head down for, you know, a good minute or so. So thank you for joining me on this adventure. I'm going to be here at the lagoon. Oh, I got a couple more RVs that just joined me. Uh, but I'm going to be here for a few days, at least uh, two or three nights, probably. And uh, then we'll be heading west towards Phoenix. And uh, the way I've got my trip planned, I've got one stop before getting to Phoenix. But I'll bring you along for that in the next episode. So from Ninja and I, who's asleep on my legs, <laughs> I bid you adieu. Be positive, be nice, be active.